Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are here at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center. Why? Because this is where everything is happening for the next few days, folks. This is the home of the 2017 Buffalo Auto Show. And all the excitement is here on two floors. And everything on four wheels that you can possibly fantasize about is here and waiting for you. We are so happy. We're going to be here for the whole hour. And I am joined by some great guests. First and foremost, we've got Mr. Paul Stasiak, who's with us, who's the president of the NFADA. And with him, the chairman of the NFADA, uh, Ken Barrett. And let me tell you guys, you started off great last night. You had a wonderful party. And the one thing about the party is not only do we get to enjoy all the people who make the NFADA so popular in Western New York. We talk about the money that is raised for local charities, Paul. Linda, that's our favorite night of the year, truthfully. Mm -hmm. I mean, show's awesome, but that's our chance to give back. And it, it has a lot of special meaning because it does go to local charities with local kids and families that are impacted. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Ken, chairman of this year's show, what do you think you're doing to put your, your fingerprint on this show that people are going to notice at home? Well, I think this is kind of our Super Bowl. You know, oh, the, I love it. The, the game was last week, but this is our Super Bowl, and it's, it's just a fantastic time for families to come down. If you're thinking about any type of a vehicle, you get a chance to try them all out. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, uh, that, that, that's hard to, to replicate in any other situation. It certainly is. And let me tell you, Paul, you brought back one of my favorite features of the show, valet parking. So all you have to do is come on down. Especially if you've got a family, you know, a car full, come on down to that front door and let these folks help park your car. Lena, that was your idea. I know. So we'll never not <laughs> give you credit for that. So. Absolutely. Well, you know, we don't know what the weather's going to be, mm -hmm. and it's going to be perfect weather, but... It's going to be great this weekend. Even a little rain, people like the convenience. So mm -hmm. it'll be here as long as we're allowed that opportunity. And Ken, you have things for really every member of the family. Whether you've got kids, you've got uh, uh, families, you've got moms. There's a lot of different things besides all the cars and the trucks. Oh, there's great things. We've got the Gigamax robot back. Love him. Uh, we've got... Or her. <laughs> some it's. of the Sabres alumni, Danny mm -hmm. Gear, uh, Don Luce, uh, Craig Ramsey, uh, Buffalo Bandits, the Bandettes, their cheerleaders. We've got the Superhero Alliance, which are uh, some folks that are dressed up in superheroes that will make that. be making the rounds. Uh, and lots, lots more. Yeah. In fact, our I, Eyewitness News uh, personnel will be here signing autographs as well. So if you're going to come on down, make sure you stop at their table and say hi. Paul, what cars are getting you super excited this year? You know, Linda, it's amazing. You know, every year it changes technology. I'm amazed at some of the high lines, and I'm more amazed at the family cars that we would drive and all the things that are in it. They're moving living rooms. Oh, yeah, they you know, are. The comfort, you know, we went from heated seats to air conditioned seats to heated steering wheel. You got cars that can give you a massage in the seat. I know. The Wi Fi, the movie theaters, the acoustics. Um, there's no reason to leave your car. It's amazing. Plus, we have our fair share of those fantasy cars here, too, so you can see what's on the horizon. Eye candy is what <laughs> some of your people said. Yeah. You know, when you got a car that's $130,000, you got to at least get in it if you get a chance. So we've got a lot of that. We've got cars coming all the time uh, from the new brand new Alfa Romeo to the Maseratis, the BMWs, and Lexus. you got a, 2000, a lot of 2018s. Mm. And you know, Ken, earlier uh, last week, I had the chance to get over to the GM Tonawanda plant and spoke to the folks who make those engines. And let me tell you, we've got hundreds, if not thousands, of Western New Yorkers who are so proud of what they do and how they contribute uh, to, to GMC. It's amazing. Oh, it's it's a fantastic operation they run there. Mm -hmm. And I think they're on their eighth million engine or maybe even more than that. The, the number of engines that have been produced out of Western New York in that facility is incredible. And the quality that, uh, that they produce them at is almost unparalleled. Yeah, they were telling me about the updates and they're even more efficient than ever. Uh, you can just feel good about every single part of a car that you buy these days. Everything is thought out by experts. Linda, they're here. Mm -hmm. We always invite the engine plant and those folks here. They love talking about it. They love showing it and, and demonstrating just how their quality works. Oh, it's amazing. So those folks will be here as well. In fact, we have a whole hour full of guests of people who will be here for the next three days. But we had this great show last night, which gave people a little taste of what they're going to see. And uh, we've got more of that for today. In fact, in just a few minutes, um, uh, one of our New York State Troopers, O'Callaghan, will be here because he's going to be talking about what they're doing downstairs. So we'll get to that in a second. But when we talked about last night, we talked about some of these incredible cars. A lot of what you see, of course, starts in Detroit. So what do you say we back up and take a look and find out why everybody is so excited about this year's cars?
Mercedes-Benz showed off its new E-Class Coupe with a 9-speed automatic transmission. Audi took the top down on the S5 Cabriolet for the first time in North America and showed off the ultra-luxury Q8 concept in Bombay Blue. And Lexus debuted the fifth generation LS with a twin turbo V6 engine. Kia sizzled with the world premiere of the sleek and sporty Stinger hatchback. It clocks zero to 60 in 5.1 seconds. This is Volkswagen. Journalists couldn't get enough of the electrified autonomous minibus of the future. Ford tweaked and teased this year, showing off a facelift on the F-150 and announcing the comeback of the beloved Bronco and the Ranger. The ability to bring it back uh, is just a response to consumer demand. We're selling websites, all the letters we get, all the emails we get. There's just a lot of pent up demand for a product like that with that, with that name and that, and that history. Chevy unwrapped a 2018 Traverse, an SUV with plenty of leg room and space for your cargo. The Traverse that we're replacing was nine years old, so it was time. Um, and we're excited because we've been able to maintain our sales volume right through those nine years and created an extremely loyal customer base. So now is the right time. We've listened to those customers. We've got a big customer base. We've listened to those customers and we've delivered what we believe is the second leading product. And they debuted a restyled 2018 GMC Terrain Crossover SUV. And I will tell you, a lot of those cars are here, or they're cousins anyway. But you're going to get a really great idea of what will be on the roads for the next couple of years. And the technology its just taking these cars away. It's amazing. As Paul was saying, these cars are doing more and more. And yet, they're keeping the safety options also at the first and foremost, because that's what a lot of families are interested in. It's not just airbags anymore. It's how can this car actually keep you safe inside the cabin. So ask those questions when you come, because all the people are here, the people who create these cars, right down to the people who market these cars. It's amazing. We are just beginning, folks. The uh, doors will open here uh, in just a little while. Lots and lots of folks to meet. We'll meet some of the people who will be greeting you and some of the people who even make these cars. So stay with us. We're going to come back to you live from the 2017 Buffalo Auto Show.